From its simple beginnings in Paris during the 1950s, French company Clarence has become one of the most successful skincare companies across Europe. The ethos of the company is to always choose a natural ingredient over a chemical one if it delivers the same level of effectiveness. After dominating the female market, they started to release products aimed at use by guys. Their range covers most needs from facial scrubs and serums to moisturizers and under eye creams. They also provide deodorants and even hand cream. I haven't used many of their products over the years. It's not that I've been actively avoiding them, it's just that other brands appeal to me more. That being said, last year I bought their exfoliating cleanser 2-in-1 and I absolutely adored it. Seriously, it's an amazing product and if you're looking for a new face wash that also has an exfoliator that's gentle enough for daily use then I absolutely recommend it. Based on how much I like their face wash, I decided it was time to try their moisturiser. The range is a little confusing as they have a lotion, gel and balm, but looking at the ingredients they are all based on the same two plant extracts, leaf of life and bison grass. Leaf of Life is a plant found in Madagascar whose leaves retain water despite extreme temperature changes and, rather bizarrely, the Clarins website cites the product was tested in extreme conditions by six divers during an under the pole expedition. Well, I suppose that makes a change from the normal reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles on every other skincare product. What about bison grass? I've never heard of it before. I couldn't find any information as to why this ingredient was useful for skincare. In use, the balm is a blue tinted thick cream with a faint scent which I struggled to identify. Perhaps it's the mysterious bison grass. It's thicker than a lot of similarly priced products and has the heavy feel of a night moisturiser. It doesn't soak into the skin fully and instead it partly absorbs with some left on the surface. You could say it provides a barrier and does feel more like a sunscreen. I should point out that it does not contain any sunscreen, although the lotion version does contain SPS 20. Half an hour after application you can still feel the product on the surface of your skin and it still has that unusual smell. It does not feel oily at all. It has a matte finish which many people, myself included, like. It costs £30 for the 50 mils, so to compare that to other well-known brands, Clinique's moisturising lotion is around £30 or less if you use the Amazon link below for 100 mils, twice as much product. Kiehl's Facial Fuel is £33 for 125ml and Lab Series Pro LS All-in-One Face Hydrating Gel is £25 for 75ml. And frankly, all three of those alternatives are better than the Clarins. Of the three, Kiehl's is currently my favourite. Major UK department stores usually have a Clarins counter, so by all means go and ask for a sample and see if it suits you. But for me, this is an average moisturiser at an above average price and certainly not something I would spend my money on again. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up. I produce new videos every single week. So if you're not already part of the community, click the subscribe button here and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future content. Follow me on social media and let me know via Twitter or the comments section if you have any grooming questions or a product you'd particularly like me to review. Thank you for visiting the channel and you can see more videos right now.